Sorry. Put at the syllabus. What's up guys, it's your girl Lazara and I am back at it again with the college vlogs. It's college season. For those of you that are new or for the ones that have forgotten, um, my name's Adara. I'm 20 years old. I just had a birthday um, in late July. I go to IU University, the Indianapolis campus. I'm a criminal justice major and I'm a junior. Tomorrow I start school. Um, today's Monday is August 21st, but I don't have classes on Mondays or Fridays. So technically I really only have to show up to campus on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So being that I just said that, obviously you can see that I commute back and forth to school. Um, I don't have a dorm. I still live at home with my family. So I have class, like I said, I have class tomorrow, um, Wednesday and Thursday. And I plan to like incorporate like some time with like friends and stuff like that throughout the course of this week. So hopefully I can see some of my friends and stuff like that. I currently just got home from getting my hair done. My appointment was at 8 a.m. and it's like 4. It's 4.30 to be exact. Um, she finished at like 3 something, but I just had like a few errands to run before I got back home. So with that being said, like I've literally been going all day. Being that I'm a junior, um, I really don't have like as much preparation, I feel like, as a lower classman would have because it's like my third year doing this. So I already kind to know what I need and what I need to do. I don't really go school supply shopping for college anymore because I really don't need it. Like my iPad and my laptop is like my school supplies within itself. The only thing I really bought for this upcoming semester was some clothes. <laughs> and as far as like, cause I know people was like, oh, you gotta get on the back to school. Um, You gotta get on the back to school way on YouTube. But I really don't have like any back to school videos. Um, I don't, I don't do school supply shopping. So I can't make that video. Like, like the only back to school video that I could really do is a clothing haul because my clothes just got here today. So I'll probably do that. Um, I don't really have time to film it today. I'm tired and definitely won't be Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. So I'll probably film it on Friday. But yeah, um, and I could have some one of my friends was like just do a maintenance video because you're getting your hair and stuff done so I just got my hair done but I didn't feel like doing a maintenance video and I got my nails done a few days ago but I always get my nails done like my nails stay done it's never a time when they're not done so it's just kind of like that's all I did and I got my eyebrows done and then I just did a maintenance video for my birthday so I didn't really feel like doing a maintenance video again so being that I was at the hairstylist from 8 a.m. to like 3, I'm really tired and I just need some time to like decompress and chill a little bit and I need to eat. I picked up some food on the way home so I'm gonna eat and then I'll get back to you guys and we can talk more about my schedule and what commuting back and forth is like, my must-haves that I keep in my backpack and little stuff like that. And like I said, this is gonna be a week in the life. No, I don't wanna name it that. I think it'll just be kinda like my first week of junior year as a criminal justice major, something like that. I don't wanna say week in the life as a criminal justice major because the first week is typically like really slow. Like that's not really how college is. So I'll probably start doing the weeks in my life type of videos like after the first week. But let me show you guys my hair. It's so freaking good. My hairstylist referred me to this girl who does braids or whatever. So uh, this is what they look like. And I feel like the length is like pretty de decent because most stylists like charge for like longer hair, but like this is just the length that she does. Like she doesn't do like short braids or whatever. So I think it's so freaking cute. Um, I told her I wanted minimal edges cause I hate having to like redo like dramatic edges. It's annoying. So yeah, it's super duper cute. I literally love it so much. I'm about to eat and I'm about to like try on my clothes and stuff like that and then I'll get back to you guys a little bit later tonight probably when I'm like fin I need to do like some last minute stuff I'm looking at my little calendar that I have and I need to like finish organizing like my iPad for this upcoming semester and I also need to just like get my backpack together and make sure I set my alarms because I will be knocked out okay
it's been a little bit later and I really haven't had time to like decompress or relax but um I ate my food that I had picked up earlier and then I opened up my package and this is like my clothes my package was supposed to get here days ago I literally paid for express shipping on Sheen and it ended up getting delayed like if anything give me my money back that I paid for the express shipping but it literally got here the day before class and I just picked through the box and I like found like my favorite shirt. I'm gonna just throw that on for tomorrow. And then like, I'll really take the time out to figure out like my other outfits later. So basically as of tonight, all I really need to do, like I kind of like skimmed through like all of my syllabus for each class. But basically as of right now, all I really need to do is kind of like set my iPad up for the semester and um, that's really about it so i'll kind of show you guys how i do that we'll also like talk about like my classes because i still haven't told you guys like what classes i'm taking and stuff like that so we'll get into that in just a little bit so we're at like my desk slash like vanity area it's like where i get ready and where i do my homework but basically i'm just gonna kind of like give you guys a rundown of like my schedule and like kind of like how i stay like organized um i'm actually kind of like trying a new method for this semester normally when it comes to like my assignments and like my school schedule i just use like the reminders app um on like the apple like apple's reminders app but i'm gonna try to like try something else so last night i spent like hours like setting up by google calendar for like all of my school assignments. So what I did in Google Calendar, I basically went ahead, I worked ahead because normally what I do is I put my assignments in my calendar and my reminders like as the days and the weeks go on, but I actually feel like it would be more efficient and useful if I just looked at the syllabus and put all the due dates into my reminders. So that way it's the whole semester is basically planned out. And if there's changes, you know, you can easily go in and change it as you go. But I feel like as a junior, I feel like it just makes more sense for me to just go in and just do the whole calendar because I feel like, I mean, I've always done a really good job at turning in all my assignments on time. Like the only time I've ever turned in an assignment late is if I genuinely did not know that I had an assignment due. And that's like very rare because I'd be on top of stuff. But I just think, like I said, it'll benefit you more if you just go into whatever service or app or whatever that you like to use to plan out your school stuff and just put everything in there in advance. So for example, this is kind of like what my first week is looking like. Um, this is like my personal tab, this blue color, it means it's personal if it's blue. And then this is for theoretical foundations of criminal justice. And so is this one. And then these two are just like assignment reminders. And this is like when I have lecture. And down here I have like the location of the class, which I'm gonna blur that out cause you can literally see the time and that's like personal. And then here's another lecture that I have on Wednesday. And then this is just like assignment reminders and then lecture again. And I find it best that I color code everything and I got all my hex codes off of Pinterest. So yeah. I changed the angle so that you guys could kind of like see what I'm talking about. Cause it's like, you can see it but at the same time it's blurry, which I like because it has like personal information on here. Um, and then even on like the names of the actual classes, like I have all the information, like the room number, what building it's in and like the class code and everything, just so that I can like easily access it and then it's like when I go into settings um of like the actual class like I have all the information the instructor's name their contact information their office hours and stuff like that and I just find it useful you don't have to do this but for me I like to put all of the information into the google reminder itself because I feel like it's easier for me to access it because normally if I forget like what the class what the classroom number is or like the teacher's information I'd be having to go deep into canvas to find it because they don't put it where it's easy to get to so i feel like it's just best for me personally to just put all that information in there and then as you can see like even when i go months out like for example i'm all the way i just switched to like september 20th and i still I already have like all the assignments and stuff 
there's like a bunch here down at the bottom because everything's mostly due on Sundays in all my classes. But even like we get to October and I already have like stuff already on here because I just find that it's more beneficial to just plan ahead. And even if they change the due dates or if you drop a class or something happens, like you can easily just erase it so as far as like keeping up with my assignments that's kind of like what i do um last semester well really all of college normally i would just use because i have an ipad so normally i would just use um like i said apple and i would use the reminders app which that worked pretty good because i would get like notifications and stuff like that but the thing about the reminders app is just that like my phone and my ipad are two different um iCloud addresses and I did that purposely because I didn't want my iPad and my phone to be synced together. So being that I switched over to Google Calendar, I get the notifications on all my devices, my laptop, my cell phone, and my iPad, which I feel like is really helpful. If I had a MacBook, I would probably just do iCal, but the thing, I can do iCal, but I can only do it on my on my iPad. I want to be able to see my assignments and the due dates on all of my devices. So um, Indiana University uses Canvas. So Canvas has its own little to-do list thingy where you can also like look at your assignments from there and you can see like all of the due dates and stuff like that. So of course I look at that as well. But the only thing about the Canvas to-do list thingy I keep calling it a thingy like that's so unprofessional but the only thing about canvas is that all of the assignments are jumbled up in like one space like as you can see um it's just all kind of like jumbled up in one space there's not much organization and like that's okay to just like i use this just to glance at it but for the most part like this is just i don't like how jumbled up this is so i don't really like use this as a reference but it's still really good because it tells you the due date and all that stuff like that and you can see how many assignments you have due all together so i like that i can see how much is due all at once i know y'all probably looking like dang 10 assignments already um yes so let's get into what type of classes i'm taking i'm taking five classes this semester normally i only take four this is the first time i've ever taken five so I guess you could say I'm kind of like anxious and like curious to see how this is going to go because I'm a little overwhelmed with just my four classes. I'm not going to lie, but I think I'll be able to take just, I think I'll be able to do five, but I'm a criminal justice major. Um, I want to practice criminal law. I want to be a criminal defense lawyer. So I felt like criminal justice was like the perfect major for me. Um, I was looking at political science, but I was like, no, I think criminal justice criminal justice is the route that I want to take. So as far as my courses, I'm taking diversity issues in criminal justice, human sexuality, which is kind of like an elective, but I thought it was just, I feel like this is going to be really interesting. Like I'm so excited to see what this is going to be about. And then I'm taking theoretical foundations of criminal justice. And then I'm also taking using IT and public affairs, which that class seems so boring. I'm not even gonna lie. I was reading the syllabus and looking at the assignments and I was like, but it's okay. Like I have to take the class, I don't have a choice. And then the last class I'm taking is called like analytics or something like that. And it's kind of like a math class that I have to take, which I'm so over math. Like I'm so ready to be done taking these math classes, but I'm gonna get through it, I'm gonna get through it. So those are like my five classes that I'm taking as a criminal justice major so far. I'm a junior, like I'm on my third year, but this is only my second semester being a criminal justice major. I don't know if I said this, but I changed my major um, from my freshman year all the way up till my first semester of sophomore year. I was a biology major. I was going to go the med school route because like a lot of, I have a lot of family members that are in the medical field. So I was like, maybe I'll just do that. But I realized it was boring and I wasn't interested. So I changed my major. I actually have a whole video kind of not like dedicated to me changing my major, but I really sat down and like addressed it. You kind of want more of like a longer explanation as to why I changed my major. I'll like put the video right here and like up there so y'all can like click on it or watch it later or whatever if you're new. But yeah, that's kind of like how I stay organized. Um, I really don't use notebooks like that anymore because I take my notes on my iPad. So I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So I use this app called Colonote. I used to think it was called Collab Note, but it's called Colonote. 
and basically it's like where i take all of my um notes for school so the app is free but i ended up paying for it it's not a monthly subscription it's just a one-time purchase and i got it they was having like a sale so i'm like let me just go ahead and upgrade because i love note taking on my ipad so i think it was like four dollars um one-time purchase it's not monthly or anything like that so i just have like two tabs this is like for self like where i do like my journaling and like manifestations and like content planning and stuff like that this tab is called school archives and this is basically like where i put all of like my notes from like my older classes that i've completed um so this is just like older notes and i don't really believe in like deleting my notes from my older classes because i feel like in criminal justice they like come in handy i took a criminal justice class last semester and i kept all the notes because she was such a good professor so what basically i'm about to do is i'm about to make a new folder for like each one of like my classes and stuff like that and then um i'll like put at the syllabus and everything to my notes and stuff like that um so i'm not gonna go into detail about that right now only because i think i've already talked y'all's ear off enough for the first segment of this video so honestly i think what i'll probably do is i'll just make like a time lapse and then that'll be it for today's portion of the video because like i said i've been gone all day tired i still need to kind of like rest and relax my body before tomorrow so yeah um i'll talk to you guys tomorrow when i go to class and get ready and all that good stuff i can't believe i believe everything we have a lesson Okay, so I'm done getting ready. It took me probably like about 10 minutes. Um, I didn't really feel like doing too much. I just have on this I Heart Me shirt and then my jeans are like bedazzled. I feel like these jeans are so like a renaissance coated. Like if I was to have went on the tour to one of the tour dates, I definitely would wear these pants, okay? But um, yeah, this is just today's little outfit. And the only reason why I'm like pretty casual for today is because my clothes just got here yesterday and I picked through my clothes and like I saw like some stuff, but like I didn't really have time to like go through my stuff and really like pick out my outfits like that. So, but I knew that like this would be cute with these pants. So I'm just like, okay, I'll just wear this. Um, so yeah, here's the outfit. And I'm about to get my sneakers out the closet. But for my shoes, I'm just gonna wear these Michael Kors sneakers that I've had for like ever. At first I was like, maybe I should wear like some slides or like my, like I, th I was thinking maybe like I was gonna wear these slides that I got from Target or I was gonna wear um, my Ugg slides or something. But I was like, no, I'm kind of feeling sneakers. So yeah, this is the outfit. For my scent of the day, um, I'm just doing this um, You're the One by Bath and Body Works. I have the matching lotion and the perfume. And this is probably like the best um, lotion and perfume set I've ever gotten from Bath and Body Works. And then I'm also pairing it with Thank You Next by Ariana Grande because I actually feel like they smell kind of like identical, not identical, but to me personally, I feel like they smell a lot alike. I feel like Bath and Body Works must have took some inspiration from this perfume because, yeah, it smells very similar. It must have the same notes in it or something. But, yeah, that's really all for today's Get Ready With Me portion. Um, normally, I would do, like, my makeup, like, a full face of makeup for the first day, but that's just not really, like, today's vibe. Maybe, like, tomorrow. I wish I would have got this shirt in a small because it's kind of like, it's not loose. It fits perfect, but it would be even better if it was like a little tighter, but it is what it is. Really quickly, I kind of wanted to show you guys like 
what I keep in my backpack and like what my must haves are in my backpack. So I'm gonna just start off with what kind of backpack I have. I have this North Face backpack. Um, I got this for my sophomore year of college. I used to have like a Victoria's Secret backpack, but my mom was like, no, you need something better. So my mom bought me this. And I feel like North Face backpacks are like really good for like college students because there's so many different compartments and it's like a really sturdy backpack. like. The straps are like so strong, like I could literally never see this backpack like breaking or anything like that. Um, I actually wanted to order another backpack for this upcoming school year. It was gonna, of course, I'm gonna get another North Face backpack, but I just haven't really seen one that I really like. So I'm like, I'm just gonna stick with this, but I'm just gonna kind of like go through like what I keep in my backpack, especially as a student that commutes back and forth to school. Because I feel like when you commute back and forth, I feel like you kind of have to keep more things in your backpack versus somebody that stays on campus because like when you live on campus you can just run back and forth to your dorm but i can't do that i'm just gonna start off with like what type of electronics i keep in my backpack so of course i bring my laptop because that's mainly where i do like my work but i also bring my ipad and my apple pencil is inside the case because i take my notes on my ipad and this second section of my backpack um I don't really, like I said, I don't really use school supplies that much anymore. Um, just to be on the safe side, I'll just bring like one notebook to school. Um, my favorite types of notebooks are the five star. And then this little pouch, it just holds all of my chargers and like earbuds and stuff like that, my laptop charger. And then I have like two Apple chargers in here for my phone and my iPad, or just in case like my friends need to charge their phone if we go to the library. And then I just keep like little snacks, um, a granola bar, I got some gushers, and then I got some like crackers and some cookies in there as well, just because sometimes I get hungry walking from class to class and I don't have time to stop at the campus center and actually get food. So I just have little snacks. In this third compartment, I think, is where I keep kind of like my emergency stuff, like my feminine products. So for starters, I wear contacts. So I keep like a spare pair of glasses in my backpack just in case my a contact falls out, which I've never had that happen. But just in case like a contact falls out or if like sometimes my contacts do start to irritate me, like my eyes get like scratchy and I just really wanna take them out. So I just have like a pair of glasses and a cloth in here. And then I also keep um, this little pouch with like a whole bunch of stuff in it. And like I said, being that I don't stay on campus, I feel like I kind of have to bring my whole bathroom with me. In which my school does have like tampons and pads in the bathroom that are free and accessible to women. It's just not my ideal pad. I think I had to use one of them like one time, but um, I keep some deodorant. Um, I really don't have to use this as much. But just in case, sometimes, you know, it's natural. We get a little ripe sometimes. It's hot outside. We walk in. So I just keep deodorant just in case I ever need some. Um, I always keep some travel size Advil or some type of pain medicine on me because one, when I'm cramping and on my period, I have to take medicine like every couple of hours so that I can stay sane. And then I get really bad headaches and literally nothing will help but pain meds. So I just always keep Advil on me. And it's good just in case one of my friends may need some Advil. Terrible allergies, so I keep extra tissue in here. And of course, like I said, um, I keep pads on me. I have a tampon, which I really don't even wear tampons, but hey, you never know. And then I also keep panty liners in here. Normally, I when I'm on my period or need feminine products, they're already in my purse. But sometimes I forget or it comes early or whatever. So just to have extra, I keep a hair tie because sometimes you have a bad hair day, stuff happens. Especially now that I have these braids, I'm gonna need extra hair ties lying around. Um, hand sanitizer, which I rarely ever have to use that because I also have hand sanitizer in my purse. Um, a case to keep my contacts just in case I feel like taking them out because the thing is when you take your contacts out you have to put them back in the solution or they'll go bad so I don't want to just throw my contacts away so I keep this with the contact solution in there 
I also have this little travel size Dove lotion because sometimes in the winter time my hands get a little ashy and dry. And then I keep just a small travel size perfume on me. This one's almost empty, so I have to replace it here soon. And then lastly, I just keep a lip gloss. I don't like this lip gloss, so I just put it in my emergency bag because it's not my favorite. So I don't really care to have it in my purse or like in my room or whatever. And then in my second pouch, I also keep my calculator. I'm taking a math class this semester, so I have to have a calculator on me for class. And this is the only calculator we're allowed to use in this class, a TI-30XA. I guess we're not allowed to use any other calculators. And then I keep sticky notes just in case. I don't really ever use my sticky notes, but you never know. And then I also have these transparent sticky notes, which it comes in handy, like when I'm trying to like study out of a textbook, which I'll get into further detail with that if the time comes. But I also did like a little segment about um, the transparent sticky notes in one of my other college videos. So I'll link it right here so y'all can check that out. Like I have so many college vlogs, like college vlogs are just so fun to me, I don't know. And then I just keep a couple of these big index cards in my backpack because sometimes like teachers be making us do like activities with like index cards and stuff like that. And I don't like small index cards because they just don't hold enough information. So I use like the bigger ones. I kind of want to like show you guys the size difference. Okay, here's a big one and then here's a small one. Like look at the size difference between the two. So it's like this does not hold enough information for me. As far as protection, because as a woman, it don't matter what campus you're on. I just feel like it's best to try to protect yourself in any way that you can. So I keep a taser in my backpack and then I have mace on my keys or pepper spray whatever you want to call it and I also have like this little knife it looks like it's a key but it actually turns into a knife I ordered that off of Amazon everything this came from Amazon as well so that's everything that I really keep in my backpack I always keep an umbrella on the side of my backpack so if it starts raining I don't have to worry I already know I'm gonna have my umbrella on me and then I always bring a water bottle that keeps my drinks cold to put on the side I really do wish I could bring this with me but it's like it won't fit in here and I'm not about to be carrying this everywhere so I mainly just want to bring this because it holds like three bottles of water this one literally only holds one but that's everything that I keep in my backpack. Okay, so I made it to school and child, it's like no parking spots. I park in a parking garage at school and I'm at the top, as you can see, like there's nothing above me. Like I have never had to, I haven't had to park this high up in so long, but it's because my class doesn't start till one. And that's only because normally I like to do my classes early so I can just be done for the day. But that was like the only time that was available for that class. I think it's only one professor that was teaching this class or something like that. So I just had to take what I could get. Or the only other option was a five o'clock class, baby. I'm not coming to campus at no five o'clock. So I just had to take this and I only have one class today. So it's 12.24, so it's about to be 12.30. So I'm gonna just go ahead and head that way. And yeah. Like we got all this and it's still not enough for everybody. Like nobody can ever find parking. Yeah, I'll take one. Um, I'm feeling pink. Pink? Yes. You got it. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. Have a good day. Okay, hey y'all. It's been some time later, and I didn't vlog in class. Sorry, oh, my girl. <laughs> I didn't vlog in class because, like, I could. How could I vlog in that class? It was, girl, that class had like so many people in there. I I couldn't even. I didn't even want to get on my phone because I feel like they was gonna be in my phone, like looking at what I was doing. And I was gonna get on Twitter, and Twitter be inappropriate sometimes. So <laughs> I didn't even want to get on Twitter or anything. But um, class was cool. It's a long class, and the teacher he's okay, but I can't really understand what he's saying. He has a strong accent, so hopefully I can survive this class. But we're just cooling right now she has class at like what 4 30 mm -hmm. and what time is it now it's like let me it's 3 55 so she got a little bit of time and once she go to class i'm gonna probably head home because that's about it but i got class again tomorrow so 
But yeah, that's really about it. And I got Chick-fil-A and it was good. I told myself I wasn't gonna get Chick-fil-A, but I was hungry. So I did, but that's really about it for now, y'all. I'll talk to y'all when I get home. So, update. I'm in the car and I'm on my way home. It's like 4.37. It's almost like five o'clock and I'm, we're lit I'm literally stuck in the parking garage. Me and like a bunch of other people. Like, I've literally been sitting right here for like 30 minutes now. I have absolutely no idea what's happening. I know like the later it is in the day, the harder it is to get out of the parking garage, but this is like crazy. Hey guys, so I'm back at home finally. Now what I'm really about to do is kind of like do some assignments. I have like 10 assignments in my to-do list. Why? I don't know, but um, I have like so many assignments in my to-do list already. So I could just kind of like need to get started. I know for the most part, it's like introduction assignments and stuff like that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get started on that. And I probably like time lapse that. was all I knew, you and me only, I did it all for you, still you were lonely, we could have worked it out, but I guess things change, it's funny how someone else's success brings pain, when you know what I'm So, good morning guys, it is now, I almost said Tuesday, but it's Wednesday, and yeah, it's the next morning. Um, I don't know why I'm so tired. It's 8.07 and I literally just woke up like five minutes ago. <sighs> I don't know why I'm so tired, but I think it's just because like all of this is catching up to me. Like I have to get back used to like having like a set routine and like waking up every day or whatever. But I'm about to get up get in the shower and get dressed and yeah we'll talk a little bit more in a second so hey guys i got ready off of camera because you guys saw me get ready yesterday and i don't want to make like my morning routine like repetitive like filming it every single morning so i skipped that this morning but i did film like a get dressed with me for tiktok so that's also part of the reason why i didn't film but today i just got on some light blush some lip gloss and some mascara i remember like last semester i was doing my makeup like religiously almost every single day and which i still love doing my makeup i just don't be feeling like it plus it's too hot right now and i feel like it would just melt off but this is my outfit for today um still like cute but like kind of casual because I don't really have much plans for today except for to go to class. Mm, should I go to the library? I don't know. Anyways, but yeah, this is my little outfit. And I'm just wearing like these little chill sandals. I just really like this shirt and how it's cut out. Ignore my bra. I know you can see it on the sides. And at first I was like, maybe I should just take it off. But I didn't feel like unbuttoning the shirt again. So it's gonna stay. And then I don't know if you can tell, but like the back of the shirt is like cut out and has like a bow and stuff and then for my hair i decided to put it in like this little like half up half down style with like a claw clip or whatever just to be like creative with my braids i guess so yeah there's that stop focusing on my face okay yeah there's that i actually need to head out here soon because class starts at 10 30 it's 9 13. So I really need to get going, but yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick. Hey guys, I'm done with class and I'm walking to my car now. I didn't really stay. I don't really feel like staying after class because I don't really have anything to do. So I was trying to talk to you guys when I was like walking to my car. I didn't really like record like in class because like she seems really nice i think out of the between her and my professor that i met yesterday i definitely like her and her teaching style a lot more i mean they're two totally different subjects so of course it's gonna be different but yeah she seems like really dope and she's a black woman so period but um 
she don't really care for like phones in her class she said like if you get a text and you need to reply like that's fine go ahead but she said like if i see you like constantly on your phone which i don't do that in class anyways because i'm there to learn but it's like i don't want to be trying to just like vlog or whatever and then she think i'm like disrespecting her so i definitely won't be getting like much footage in that class which is okay because i don't really vlog in class anyways like even if the teacher is laid back i don't vlog because there's really nothing to vlog in class like i'm literally just sitting there listening to them lecture so yeah on that note i'm gonna try to get footage in class but it won't be nothing like too crazy but anyways i left right after i'm leaving i just got out of class and i'm leaving because one i don't really have nothing to do around campus today i looked to see if there was any events going on and i didn't see anything so yeah and then plus at the stop sign turn left <laughs> and then plus i'm really tired so i just want to go home and kind of like lay down and then like do a little bit of my assignments and tomorrow i have class so i don't know i may hang out with some friends or something i don't know but today just wasn't the day but i know on friday i don't have class at all and i may hang out with my friend nakaya because she wanted me to go to this thing but i don't know if she can still go so i'm gonna have to see about that but regardless if i can't hang out with her on friday then i'll probably go to like starbucks or the library the and start reading some chapters in my textbook so that i can be ahead of the game so yeah that's kind of like the game plan but right now i'm about to go home and chill so I just finished up this quiz that I had to take for my using IT in public affairs class. And so basically we had to like watch this video about like the different, like the main parts of a computer. And then afterwards we had to take like a quiz about like what we learned basically. So it was asking me questions like the, like what the main circuit of the computer is. And I guess it's the motherboard. But anyways, I got a five out of five. So I got a 100% on like our first actual quiz. The first quiz we took was just like over the syllabus, but this one is like actually over the material. So I got a five out of five. I got a 100. Talk to me nice, not twice. <laughs> so now that I got that out of the way, I think I'm gonna be done for today because now I only have one other assignment in my Canvas to-do list, which is, it's in my um, theoretical foundations of criminal justice policies or whatever. And basically we have to like practice applying theory and to complete the assignment, I have to read like the first chapter in the textbook and it's not due till Sunday and what's today? Today's Wednesday, so I still have like plenty of time to do that. So I'm not gonna stress myself over it too much, but I'm definitely gonna get it done probably tomorrow or Friday. I don't have any plans on Friday. Like I said, I don't have class. So I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna end up going to the library, not my school's library, but I'll probably end up going to like my local like public library that's close to me. Cause I did that all the time last semester. I don't know if I said this, but I took all of my classes online last semester. I only had one in-person class. So I spent most of my time at like my local library or like my local Starbucks. So if I'm being honest, like I'm definitely gonna pick that up again. So I'll probably go to the library and lock in and just like start getting started on like my reading assignments because in most of my classes we have like reading assignments that aid us with like our quizzes and our homework so I want to get started on those before next week starts and plus one of my professors says she recommends reading the material she posts before we come to class so we can already know what's going on I'm gonna take a break and I'm just gonna be done for tonight because I want to chill and I've gotten like everything accomplished that I need to for today so yeah good morning guys so it is now thursday and i woke up like way earlier than i needed to um classes will start till one and i woke up at nine i set my alarm clock for nine because i just kind of want to like get up and like not be like sleeping up until it's time for me to like start getting ready and not only that i kind of want to like go to campus earlier and like do some work and stuff like that before I go to my class. So I don't know, I think that's what I wanna do. So like, we'll see. It's 10.30 now and I just like finished getting ready. Um, I didn't get ready on camera cause I did like another get ready with me for um, TikTok and stuff. So yeah, I didn't get ready on camera. Plus like literally there's like not much for you to see. Like literally all I did was like what you guys saw before my little skincare brush my teeth and like put my clothes on but I did just kind of like want to talk to you guys because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys just like 
just like sitting well i've talked to you guys but like i don't know i still wanted to like talk to you guys like in the morning like before i left because i didn't watch y'all to feel neglected or anything but i'm just kind of like um just gonna do what i did yesterday just some blush i don't even know if i'm gonna do mascara because i hate like having to take the mascara off i just hate the process of taking mascara off so it's like i'm just gonna do like a light mascara i literally just said not even a minute ago i wasn't gonna put any on but it's like i don't know i need something i just love bottom like mascara on my bottom lashes i feel like it just makes your face look so good but it really doesn't even matter because i'm gonna wear my glasses today mostly because i just don't feel like putting in my contacts and i actually feel like my glasses would actually like really complement the outfit that i'm wearing today i'll show you guys my outfit in just a second i still need to take like pictures and make tiktoks and stuff like i'm being so for real guys i'm trying my best to be like consistent because it's like with youtube it's like y'all can't get like videos from me every day on youtube but like you can get videos mostly every day from me on like tiktok and stuff I think it's so crazy, I know this is random, but like back to the makeup talk, I think it's so crazy how like I literally went from like doing my like a full face of makeup every morning before class to like barely anything. Like literally the most I'll do is just like some blush and mascara and a good lip. Yesterday for my lips, I had on like light pink, but I think I want to do something different so yeah this is my ootd um this shirt is like old well not old but like i bought this like at the beginning of summer i was supposed to wear it like over summer break but i never did so we're wearing it now but the skirt is new it came in my package the other day for my shoes i'm just gonna wear my little clogs um i didn't really want to wear sandals with this and um i've been wearing like the same purse like all week but i'm gonna switch it up and wear like my little tote. I don't know, I just feel like it goes with the outfit better than just like a regular purse. It's so cute. Like my first day outfit, the pink top and the bedazzled pants is like my favorite so far. And then this one immediately after, like I look so cute. Okay, so I made it to school and I had to park all the way at the top again. I also thought one of the pros of like trying to get here earlier was that I would find a spot. But on the first week, everybody and their mama be at school trying to act all studious, like they about to come to class every day. And then kind of like after the first week, like it's kind of easier to find a spot. So hopefully I don't get like blocked in parking right here, but uh, we'll have to see. <laughs> guys i'm back home now and i'm sitting on the floor because i got a package in the mail today that i just opened up um it's nothing like major i just ordered like some little like accessories and stuff yeah so i'm home for the day don't plan on doing anything else for today um i might finish up the work that i was doing at the campus center that you guys saw earlier um but other than that yeah like i'm chill for the rest of the day i don't have any assignments due today or tomorrow or saturday um i have two assignments that are due on sunday so i'm probably gonna go to the library tomorrow and like i said do those two assignments and then try to get some like reading and note taking in but i feel like the first week is like never really how school really is like a lot of it was just kind of like introductions and stuff like that and the first week is like always really weird for me because typically what I do on like the first week of school never ends up being like my set schedule like typically I'd be like making tweaks and changes and stuff like that so I'm just kind of like figuring out like my schedule and what works for me this semester so far so hopefully like the future week in my life vlogs aren't like as like choppy and like weird and stuff like that but i'm just trying to figure everything out and then i think they'll get better and like i wanted to go to like some events this week but i don't really have anybody to go to and my one friend who i normally go to events with like we were supposed to go somewhere on friday but she canceled so yeah that's really it for right now good morning besties it's 8 10 woke up at 8 
it just feels so early in the morning but we're up and we're here and i know i keep complaining about being so tired but i'm just not used to like waking up like early anymore because i was just so used to like my summer break schedule but we're about to go to the library to lock in and get some work done and i'm actually kind of excited because i haven't been to the library in so long and the library is like such a good place for me to like study and get stuff done morning montage time love yours As far as today's outfit, we're going chill. We're going low pro. It's just the library. I mean, school is just school. Like campus is just campus, but I like to be a cutie patootie on campus, but I'm just going to the library, like my local library. I just wanna be like comfortable. Cause like, I'm just gonna be sitting like in the same chair for hours doing work. Hopefully it's like not too packed. Where do I wanna angle you guys? I'll do right here. Hopefully it's not too packed because it's Friday. So it's like most people should still be at work. I know some people have Fridays off. Like Friday is the start of some people's weekend, which is cool. I get that. But most of y'all should be at work. <laughs> so the library opens at nine. And what time is it? I need to get a clock around here. It's 8.50. So it hasn't even opened up yet. So I'm not doing too bad on timing. But we've got these. It says more light. It says more light required. It's so bright in here already. I don't want to turn on this light because it's like a yellow light. And yellow light is so gross. Okay. So we've got these leggings and they're like that spandex material. You'll see when I put them on. And then for the top, um, I'm going to wear this cute little la purple um, athletic wear jacket. And we're just, what is this? Child, these boho hairs are everywhere. For the shirt underneath, I'll probably just do this sports bra that I got from Forza. No, I don't think I wanna do the sports bra cause I wanna like have the jacket slightly unzipped and you'll be able to see like the sports bra if I do that. So let's, let's change that. I think this one should be okay. It's more of a, that's more of a bralette than a sports bra, but it's whatever. Sneak out some undies really quickly. Comfortable undies at that because we're literally about to be sitting. I'll just do these black ones. Or, uh, yeah, we'll just do those. I'm not gonna show you guys that, of course. For my perfume, I'm gonna do Bonfire Bash, and then I'm gonna pair it with this Billie Eilish. So yeah, I'm done getting, like ready um did i show you how the fit yeah i don't think so so fit here's how it looks on ew the lighting's like not good right here change the angle because it's all about lighting like because the color of the jacket looks different so here's the fit here's the jacket um yeah this is what we're working with and i'll show you guys like the full thing in the mirror but i have on like these adidas socks and they have like a purple logo. The purples don't match, but like, I don't care. And then um, for my shoes, I'm wearing Nike. First, as you can see, I was actually gonna wear my foam runners, but I'm like, nah, look at how it landed. Anyways, but I'm like, nah, I wanna go for like a more like sporty look. So yeah. And then I wanted to wear socks. But I don't have no Nike socks. I only have like Adidas socks. But so yeah. And then these are the shoes that I'm going to wear. I bought these online. And I don't know what they're called. I never know what my shoes are called. I just buy them. But I got them like a year ago. So even if I knew what they were called, I'd probably forget. Why is it 9.35? And I still haven't left the premises of my home. It's because I was trying. So I'm doing like so much at one time. I'm trying to film, sorry you guys are, I'm like turning off all the lights, but I'm trying to um, film like a mini vlog for YouTube shorts and TikTok and then all the TV's loud. And then, you know, I'm also trying to just vlog regularly for y'all 
And then, um, I'll just be trying to make like the cute little TikToks, just like with the song. Blush literally compliments me so well. And I cannot believe that there was actually a time where I like didn't like blush. But I'm just about to um, fill my water bottle all the way up really quickly. Hi, um, I had a mobile order for Adara. Thank you. I did not mean to like be this late. Like um, it's 10 o'clock, which the library opens at nine. So it's like, they're, they've only been open for an hour, but normally I like to get there like right at nine, but that like wasn't the case today. So, so I got my Starbucks and since it's like fall is approaching, I got um, the pumpkin cold foam in it. And then I also got like some cinnamon flakes at the top because I feel like that's just like the perfect way to top it off. But the color is kind of concerning me because normally it don't be looking like this, but hopefully it's good. That's really all I can say. My sandwich is like border. What is happening today? Like, it looks like the bun is not even on. Like, I'm so confused. So I spent like a decent amount of time there and I got like mainly like what I aimed to do done today because mostly like when I go to the library I have like an idea of like what all I want to get done and I literally won't let myself leave until I'm like mostly done. If I've been there for just like way too long and I still haven't like accomplished everything then I'll just be like okay you can finish it at home but the goal is to finish it at the library so I did um, I had this assignment and my um, foundations like my theoretical foundations of criminal justice class and we had to like we had to listen to like this little podcast and then talk about like what caused like this guy shot a clerk at like a gas station and so we had to listen to the podcast and like make a list of things that happened in his life that led him to shoot the clerk or whatever. So I did that, listened to the podcast that I submitted the assignment. Then I needed to watch, I had to watch my using IT in public affairs lecture and take notes on that and then take the quiz, which I haven't taken the quiz yet, but um, I'm gonna do that when I get home. I'm about to head home, it's Friday, so. This is probably going to be like my last day for this vlog.